Yo, how are you doing guys? Welcome to another World to Live online video. So this one's going to be five tips for beginners because I see a lot of people doing a lot of weird things and a lot of mistakes. So five tips for beginners. There'll be timestamps in the description below if you want to skip to a certain part of the video. Let's get on with the video. Alright, so as you can see... I'm on a new character, this is my mercenary, there'll be a mercenaries guide coming out hopefully next week or so as I get this one leveled up. But um alright, so tip number one, all right, it's a really simple one. Do the quests. Literally, just do the quests. I see so many people at like level between level five and ten. And like, oh I can I level up really quick and they're trying to find ways to level up as fast as possible. And it's just not gonna work because the thing is, you need to do the quest to join a faction anyway. Like, you have to do a lot of quests before you can even join a faction. So, you'll either power level through by killing mobs and never have any money, you'll always be struggling. And then you'll have to go back and do all the quests and it'll just be the most horrible grind ever because everything will be really easy, so you'll just be running through. Or, you could play it properly, like me right now. My quest is to get... 20 of these, I'll get 4k cash, 6,500 experience, and it's one of the quests that I need to do. Obviously, I'll make a I'll make a guide later on. When I get to this character's level 15, it's already at 12 now, so it'll probably be tomorrow's video. But I'll explain to people how to join a faction. But yeah, tip number one: do the quests. Like seriously, do start game, do the quests. Um, tip number two. Best one I can get to anyone. I'm only going to do five tips on this one, I reckon. Uh, tip number two, super easy one. Carry ciders. Bottles of cider. Um, they give you full stamina. Watch my stamina bar. Boom, full. So just drink cider from my hot bar. At lower level, when you barely have any stamina, get ciders. Let me just kill these real quick. Ooh. Damage though. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, yeah. Tip number two: get ciders. Get get ciders. Hundred percent. They're very they're really cheap. You want to be carrying anything from five to ten with you all the time. Like I always carry a minimum five with me. I had ten when I come on this journey. I've got six left. I wasted one a minute ago. It's fine. But yeah, always carry some ciders on you. It's a brilliant thing to do. Even at higher level, when you get to like near max level, like between 35, 40, you won't need them all the time, but it'll still be super helpful to ha you know, have like a couple on you every now and then. So yeah, carry ciders, always carry ciders. All right, tip number three. To be fair, this will be a way to save you a little bit of money because you don't need it. Um, so armor, like as you're leveling up, it took me a while to like actually figure this out. I'm not gonna lie, but so you've got boots. I'm level 12. I have no boots on. I still have the Gorka pants on. And I have the light bulletproof vest. And I don't have a helmet on either. To be fair, you don't even need these. I just bought them because I think they look better than the trousers. Like your original trousers. That's the only, literally the only reason I bought them. So for PvE, you don't need anything. Literally, you don't need anything apart from the torso. So, if you're short on cash, don't buy boots, don't buy legs, don't buy helmet. Honestly, you don't need them. You really do not need them. They barely ever... To be fair, I don't even think mobs can hit any of them parts of your body. Obviously, they're helping PvP. They're not going to help... Who's shooting that rifle? They're not going to help... Even in Pv PvP, they don't help that much because they have low defense. But they do help a little bit. And you have a lot more carry weight at that, at that point anyway because you're a lot higher level. But at lower levels, honestly, to save yourself money and carry weight, when you barely have any carry weight, only having this vest will help you out loads because the boots are another two. I think the helmet's like one point something. This is like nearly one. So you're going to save yourself a good amount of carry weight as well by only buying the vests. Alright, tip number four. Um, I actually had someone attack me earlier today. 
Um, I was farming lizards and he shot me in the back with a sniper rifle, so I killed him. He come back and tried again, so I killed him again. And I put him onto my straight after that. I put him onto my enemies list and I killed him on sight every single time I seen him. I wasn't trying to be horrible with him. He just kept attacking me. I was just trying to farm, so I got some revenge on him. Look at that. The guy got so mad. Like, he was calling me all these names, calling me retarded, and like PMing me, getting so mad in chat. And I was like, look, mate, if you don't want to keep dying, you know, like, don't attack random people. So, tip number four don't just go around shooting people. Because the second you start to kill someone one too many times, you're going straight on their enemy list, like this guy right here. And he'll never come off, he'll stay on there now. Because he was higher level than me. He was just trying to snipe me from a distance. He was only a couple of levels higher than me, so I could still beat him. But he was just trying to snipe me from a distance, just being an arsehole, to be fair. Like, there was no need for it. Um, so, yeah, tip number four. Don't shoot every single person you see. It's not going to do you any favours. If you want to be... Honestly, best thing to do... Because you barely get up from killing anyone anyway. Best thing to do, wait till you're in a faction. And then just fight your opposing faction. Don't just go around shooting random noobs. Or random people, because there's just no need. Alright, so tip number five, this is going to be the last tip. Um, I'm just going to say to you, do some background on the game. Like, I, I know, obviously, you're probably playing the game now. You've probably made your character. You know, make do a bit of background research on all the different classes. There's only, I know, there's four different classes. But make sure you know what class you've picked. You know what you've actually got yourself into. Because... I've found myself changing classes and making new characters all the time. I don't anymore because I bought four character slots. And I'm just going to level one of each class up. So I've got all four. So if I ever want to play something else, I've, I've got it. But you don't want to be leveling up an engineer. And then thinking, I want to be that guy that runs out and gets all the first couple of kills. And like, you know, I'm the main fragger. An engineer ain't going to do that. You're going to get clapped constantly. An engineer is a support. You know, you don't want to be a miner and think, oh, I'm going to be best sniper in game. On a miner, you're not going to be best sniper in game. A hunter is the bit like a, hunt, a hunter will demolish you um, at long ranges, if he's any good anyway. But you know what I mean? Like, just do a little bit of research on your class. Like, before you get too far into the game and it becomes like, oh no, like, I don't want to delete this character now. It's already at level 20 or 25. If you're below level 15, and you'd think, oh, maybe this isn't the class for me now. I've had a look. Honestly, delete it and just start again. Um, but yeah, you obviously you want to do that earlier rather than later. So just get a bit of research into the game, into the classes and stuff like that. So obviously, you, you want to make a class. You want to pick the right class for you. So you're going to enjoy the game at endgame. Um, I'll give you a very, very quick rundown. Um, Mercenaries Assault, these assault rifles... They have good critical damage, like the crit more. Um, miners are tanks. You're all about taking that tank damage. Hunter are your snipers. Super squishy, die real easy, but can one-shot anyone if it's critical. You can only one-shot a miner if it's like a headshot or a critical shot. Um, same with mercenary, to be fair. And then uh, engineer is your support class. It's about the same... As a hunter, like it's as squishy as a hunter, but you have submachine guns, so you can only really fight at close range. So any mercenary, if you spot each other at the same time, like you don't give a jump on him, it's a good chance you're gonna lose that fight. We you have a support, you can put down MRPs where people can respawn. You put down the jammers for taking down the forge fields to the bases, and you uh, hack the bases to take over them. And then what I mean by bases, that's end game at level forty. When you're fighting for base, actually, when you're in a faction, you can do it at level 15. I won't advise doing it at level 15. Wait till you're at absolute minimum of 25. But yeah, that's my five tips for this game for beginners. My five beginner tips. Trust me, they'll get you a long way if you take them five tips. I hope this helped, guys. Make sure to leave a like if you liked the video or like any of the tips. Make sure, make sure to subscribe for future World to Live Online videos and make sure to pop a comment. On any other tips, if you're a veteran player, you know, give someone up, give some more tips and stuff like that. Or if you've got any questions about the game or anything like that. I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace out.